What's going on, everyone? My name's Tenebris, and today in Living Off the Land, we are taking on the big one. We're going to be fighting the Reaper with absolutely crap gear. But before this episode, we had a live stream where I happened to find a very particular gun that I was looking for. All right, Jesus, I summoned thee to give Denna whatever he decreed. Let's go. Yes. Are you kidding me? It worked. H time, my guy. Thank you so much for your prayer. I think we're going to do more live streams on living off the land here. So if you ever want to catch one, it'll be at our usual stream time on Wednesdays, my dudes. So without further ado, let's talk today's game plan. We have three objectives for today's episode. Step one, get to the airfield and pick up the safe house. We're gonna need that as a safety net if we die a bunch. Step two, lure the Reaper to our side of the airfield. And step three, hopefully profit and take this Reaper down. We're gonna be heading out at the crack of dawn. So wish me luck, folks. I think for today's episode, we're gonna need it. Now, again, we're just living off whatever's in our backpack. So I gotta gather up some gasoline before we go off on this adventure here. Now, I'm not gonna lie, dudes. I'm excited for this fight because it's been a long time since I've had a really hard Reaper fight. But I'm also kind of nervous because I know I'm in for a world of hurt here. So let's stop off and pick up this camp really quickly just outside of Asso here. And uh, this will actually come in handy for the next episode. We've got the sun just peeking over the horizon here. Uh, so I really want to make it to the airfield as quickly as possible so that we can fight this Reaper throughout the daytime. All right, making our way past the trenches here. And this area is really not friendly to dirt bikes. We're going to use this tank for the hole in the fence. And then we've got our safe house. Oh, jeez, dang it. And with the safe house secured, there goes objective number one, an assault rifle silencer. I'll, I'll take it, dude. All right, so for us to complete step two, now we need to clear this end of the uh, airfield and just make sure that there's no machines around, which already we're getting spotted by this group of hunters. All right, so let's make our way on over to this tank because he's got uh, this little warehouse right behind him. So let's start off by attacking this tank from the backside. Oh, and he's already dropping the gas. What the heck? Oh, there we go. We hit an EMP. Sick. Are you going to do the gas again? What? All right, let's pull around this way just a little bit. Oh, of course, all the hunters are coming through now. Great. All right. Let's take out this hunter. We can't take out all of the hunters because there's that harvester over there. Oh! And this tank. What are you doing, bud? Let's work on the old tank. Oh, oh, that was very close. Ah, ticks. Let's close this door for a second.
Ah. Let's get the EMP. There we go. Reload real quick. There we go. We got his rocket pod off. Then we go for the machine gun. I want this end of the airfield cleared, my dudes. <laughs> I'm dedicated, man. All right, let's bust up his faceplate. We got him in a kind of good spot here, actually. All right, no more ticks from you, dude. All right, there we go. Just a little bit more work. And there we go. Our first Phoenix class tank and we managed to do a deathless here. Excellent, what do we get? An extended magazine. <laughs> Not really gonna help us too much. Getting our bullets back is nice though. Oh, it seems like the GZ gods really do not want me to take on the Reaper today. It's because they know that I'm going to win, dude. Oh, finally getting to the task at hand. We got the Reaper coming on over here. We've got our safe places to hide from his explosions. It should hopefully be a Reaper by the numbers here. We're going to have to take out his shield generators first and avoid the hack out of his machine gun and his rockets and all of that jazz. There we go, his shield's down. Let's heal just to be safe. It is a good thing that I healed. <laughs> oh, buddy. Where are you going, friend? The Reaper is seeming very agile today. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure we don't get caught out by that machine gun. Ah, oh, dang it. Drop the shield. Drop your shield, friend. Okay. <laughs> once we get one of these down, once we get one of these down, we will be good to go. We do have the Reaper in a really good spot here, though. The problem is, is our weapons are so dang weak <laughs> that it might cause a problem. Are you ready, friend? There we go. Likely one or two more shots and uh, that shield gen should be down. Then we gotta change position. To somehow reach, uh, reach his other ones. 
Oh, come on, dude. Can't believe that that shield generator isn't down yet. Oh, man. Come on, Reaper. Yes. Drop the shield. Drop it. Yes. Ah, and we got the shield generator. Fantastic. All right, and if we could just kind of keep him where he's at, then we could get this other shield generator as long as we pay attention to the rocket pod there. Beauty. Reload real quick. Keeping my eye on that freaking rocket pod down there. Let's pop a heal just to be safe. Okay, if we could get back. There we go. Couple more shots into the, the uh, shield generator at least. I don't know if that last shot counted there. Shouldn't be too much more. Oh! All right. It's all about adapting. Adapting your points of cover. There we go, sick. And adapting to the Reaper's generally wacky nature here. Now all we got left are the knee ones, uh, the knee shield generators. But those are probably the hardest to take down without an experimental PVG. See if we can't just take off the knee plate. Because if we can. Oh! He keeps doing the glitchy rockets. Oh man. I'm like a level 5 player. Come on, dude. <laughs> Alright. Let's burn off the rest of our shotgun ammo here. Maybe see if we can't make our way back into the hangar there. Oh! All 
All right, there goes his knee armor, which is fantastic. We could take down that one knee and also the generator behind it. Really easy. Now you might be wondering how I'm surviving these explosions and these bullets so far. Uh, and I'm running half and half explosion resistance and half and half bullet uh, resistance here on my character. The outfit looks a little bit silly, but it helps with the survivability. As long as we aren't directly hit by like three rockets, then we'll survive, and as long as we aren't caught out by that machine gun, we'll survive. You're hiding in the spot that I wanted to hide at, man. The main thing I'm really scared of here is the fire damage and any sort of melee damage or poison damage. Oh, did he drop ticks? What the heck? Since when do you drop ticks, my friend? All right, let's use one of our good med kits here. Just running everywhere, dude. I think he just nuked himself. Nice. Here's the first death. Let's heal back up really quickly. Get the shield generator. Yes! All the shield generators are down. It's only been like 20 minutes now. But this means that we can finally, finally do some work on this guy. Now I'm going to focus pretty much entirely on the machine gun. All right, there we go. Crazy to think it's taken this long to get to his first thermobaric. And... What the heck, man? Come on! 
Are you gonna do your thermal barrack or not? Come on, dude. Let's reload this. not get stepped on again. <laughs> Take down these stinking doggos. This is perfect, yes! Alright, back we go to working on the machine gun. All our guns now. <laughs> Can't hit me through these steel walls, dude. I don't know why it started auto targeting anything other than his fuel cell there. This is actually a really good spot. Of course he had to run though. That machine gun is coming off at any point in time now. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Barrage. What the heck are you doing? door at this end there is fantastic take that turn to me he's actually sparking quite a bit now that could just be his shield generators
What the heck, dude? <laughs> The most bizarre reaper fight of all time. All right, machine gun. Let's open this door. Totally don't even know what happened there. It's like the rockets were exploding on the roof. It's still reaching me. If we could get this knee, then that would be fantastic. Oh, come on, dude. Let's go in with the shotgun. We don't have that much shotgun ammunition left. I don't know. Maybe his knee is destroyed at this point. It'd be weird because we didn't get any... No, okay. There we go. Hitbox is just being really weird. Back to the machine gun. No! No, you don't. Since when does the Reaper drop so many ticks? Getting a bit of a sunny shower here, very nice.
All right. This machine gun, it's coming off. I, I swear to heck, it's coming off in the next like four or five magazines. Okay, there we go. Thermal barrack number two. Let's get ourselves nice and safe here. Oh, hey! Yes, we got the machine gun. Oh, buddy. And he's pissed about it. Of course. All right, great. We'll continue going for his rocket pod. Maybe his fuel cell. Clear out the doggos first. No, you don't. I knew he was going to do the gas attack. I kind of planned for it. So I'd like to go for his fuel cell at this point. But if the only thing we have access to really is the rocket pod, then let's just go for it, man. Try and get as much damage in as possible. Now, I'd kind of like to rip open his faceplate here, too. Even though it's got stupid amounts of armor. If we blast away at it, we could break it eventually. I think we broke it. Fantastic. With her last buckshot, too. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Reaper's faceplate is just being real weird here, so I'm gonna move on. Gonna continue focusing on that rocket pod. It's okay, I've got the regen to survive most of that. Oh! 
That's right. Get out into a more open position. It's kind of exactly what I was hoping for. Even the tech pod has so much health, man. Feel like we've almost got his rocket pod off. So if we just focus on the rocket pod here, we might be able to get him down to the final phase. No, you don't. I guess we'll get another dose of the purple Kool-Aid. We could just get this rocket pod off, man. Yes, there goes the rocket pod. Excellent. Oh. <laughs> now that he's disarmed, though, he's going to be running all over the place, so we're going to have to be really careful for that. But I think we can turn lock him. And get his fuel cell. Yeah, there we go. There goes the fuel cell. Even took off that knee armor eventually, I guess. Uh, trying to think of what other components we could go for. Quite the run there, dude. Okay. Dude. Two deaths. Both times being stepped on. We went up level, though. Fantastic.
Nice! <laughs> I will take that clippy leg. Again, this is the weirdest Reaper fight I think I've ever done, man. And he just keeps running around in circles, dude. Still not his final um, thermobaric. Come on, dude. Oh, we only have 31 bullets left for 762. Great. At least we have a ton of 243. Chillin'. Not so chillin', but... <laughs> but if we could just kind of chill here and just blast away. Nah, of course. Step back, heal a bit. Hey, there goes the tech pod, too. Sick. This Reaper needs to die, dude. He's so mangled at this point. All I could do realistically is hip fire his faceplate. And try to not waste any uh, any more ammo on like doggos or anything like that. Dude!
There we go. Now I think we got him in a spot where he'll chill. Hopefully. Oh, here we go. Here comes the final round. Eat this. Why didn't the grenade explode? Where'd the grenade go? Oh. Managed to survive the final thermobaric. Though, I don't know what happened to that grenade. I was really hoping that that grenade would have gotten the kill there. Well, there you guys go. A 40 minute Reaper fight. Absolutely mental. And we wound up getting ourselves an experimental AG4. Hey, I will take it, man. So I'm kind of surprised that we got through that fight with only three deaths, but I mean, you know, in the end, what can you do, right? It's it's the Reaper, and he's going to be difficult. So I'm just glad that we actually got through the fight, and we got ourselves some fat loot on top of that. So uh, hopefully you guys all enjoyed. We've got ourselves an experimental before level 21 here in the game. And uh, yeah, uh, as well, we took down a Reaper with only worn weapons. Pretty freaking crazy. Uh, but I will catch you all in the next one. Until then, peace out, my dudes.